This video has been prepared using an 840DSL control system and Operate HMI to show how to set the pole angle on a synchronous motor with incremental encoder and reference mark. Synchronous motors with incremental encoders and reference pulse require a certain synchronism between the encoder and rotor when the reference pulse is used for fine synchronization. Siemens standard 1FT, 1FK, and 1PH synchronous motors are synchronized at the factory and no additional intervention is necessary. However, in the case of separate rotor stator sets such as Siemens 1FE and 1FW rotary motors, 1FN linear motors, or third-party synchronous motors, the relevant measuring system is installed by the machine or spindle builder and is not necessarily synchronized. In these cases, for incremental encoder with reference mark, the synchronism is realized via the drive parameter P1990 encoder adjustment, which sets a value in P431, which is the angular commutation offset. Which is automatically applied by the drive system when it sees the reference mark from the incremental encoder. The process for these cases is such that each time the drive is powered off and back on, the course pole angle is determined by the relevant pole position algorithm. This is close enough to allow the motor to rotate under control. When the motor rotates and sees the reference pulse from the encoder for the first time, the drive switches to fine synchronization and uses the value in P431 for synchronism via the reference pulse. This video demonstrates how to use P1990 to set the value in P431 in a common case where a third-party spindle has been repaired and is to be put back into operation. Normally the encoder is removed or replaced during the repair process and needs to be resynchronized. The prerequisites are the drive must be in the disabled state, the motor to drive connections must have previously been checked and verified, the encoder polarity must have been checked and verified. And the control must be in the jog mode. In order to simplify the demonstration process and also the setup process on the machine, a user view can be created that will only contain the parameters that we need to view for this process. In order to create the user view, press the menu select key, click on the setup soft key, click on the machine data soft key, and then the user view soft key. We can add a user view by clicking on manage view, then new view, type in a name, and then the OK soft key. And now we can insert data using the insert data soft key. Use the drop down box, box to select Synamics drive parameters. And now we can select the first parameter we want which is P10. Insert. We want R22 which is the actual motor speed. Insert. We want P404. Insert. We want P1982. P1992. 431. You can see they don't need to be in order. 1983 and 1984. Once we've created the list that we want, we click the back soft key and now that list is permanently there under the heading pole angle we will utilize the user view that we have just created. Before beginning, we make sure we have selected the correct axis, in this case our spindle. 
we will check to see that the settings make sense. Normally, P1982 is set to a 1, and P404 bit 15 is set to a 1. These two settings require that the pole angle be set via P1990. Before beginning, it is recommended that P431 be set to a zero. If the drive had been previously operating, there will likely be a previous angle in P431. In order to set it to zero, P10 is set to a four, P431 is set to a zero, P10 is set to a zero. And now the angle in P431 is zero degrees before beginning. The drive must be in the disabled state. Parameter P1990 is set to a one. The message 207971, Drive Angular Commutation Offset Determination Activated, appears. Then the drive must be enabled. When the drive is enabled, the course commutation angle will be determined by the drive. Enable the drive. And now we must jog the axis until we reach the reference mark. When the reference mark is seen by the drive, parameter P1990 will automatically set back to zero, and a pole angle will appear in P431. So we're going to slowly jog the motor, and now P1990 has been set to a zero, P431 has a pole angle, the message 207965 appears, indicating that the drive data needs to be saved. We click on Drive Parameter. Make sure we're on the correct drive. Click on Save Reset. Click on Save. Click on Current Drive Object. Verify the message at the bottom that indicates that the drive has been saved. Be sure that the drive is disabled and perform an NCK reset. After the NCK reset has been completed, we go back to user views and we can see the poll ID diagnostics shows that the course synchronization has not yet been carried out. This is because the drive is not enabled. When we enable the drive, the course synchronization is carried out via the pole position algorithm, and the drive is in course synchronization. We will now jog the axis until the reference mark is seen. When the reference mark is seen, there will be an indication on bit 15 and then bit 8 will show that fine synchronization has been carried out as P431 will be applied as an offset when the reference mark is seen. Jogging the axis and now we see that the zero mark was passed and we are in fine synchronization. We should be able to jog the motor in both directions without any faults plus direction, minus direction, and there are no faults. The last thing to do is to check the pole angle consistency. This consists of setting P1983 to a 1 and then reading out the value in R1984. 
We record the value in R1984 and then we move to another physical position via jogging the motor. We test again via making P1983 a 1 and reading out the value in R1984. Generally, we recommend testing about 10 different physical positions of the motor shaft. The goal is for our 1984 results to be centered around zero degrees with an even split of plus and minus values with the maximum plus and the maximum minus difference being no more than 10 degrees. We'll check a few spots here as a demonstration. We make P1983 a 1, press enter, and we get a pole angle value here in R1984. We rotate the motor to another spot, and we make 1983 a 1, and R1984 reads out another value. Record the value, move to another spot, and test again. Once we've tested about 10 different positions, we check the angular difference, biggest plus number versus the biggest minus number, and the difference between the two should be no more than 10 degrees. Peak to peak with the mean value of zero. When this is the case, the process and setup is complete. The motor should be fully operational. Don't forget to make appropriate archives. Thank you for your attention. We hope this information is helpful.